Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. In today's session, I am giving you most important points and question bank of operating system subject. See, this is not an official question bank. These are the mostly asked question in previous year question paper. You can refer this question while preparing your NSEM examination. So let's start the session. In this channel, you got a complete point wise easy explanation practical demo and question bank of following subjects. You can refer this question bank while preparing your examination. Please like and share these videos with your friend. So that will be helpful for everyone and subscribe the channel. So you will get the notification regarding my new upcoming videos. Now the first point is introduction and overview of operating system. Generally, this is the first unit in your syllabus. The first question is describe in brief evaluation of operating system. Here you have to mention the evaluation of OS with example for six marks. The next one is explain difference between monolithic and micro kernel with advantages and disadvantages for six marks. So here you have to explain minimum four to five differences. The next one is write a short note on following. Here you have to explain any two like Linux file system, Linux memory management, Linux process management for seven marks. The next one is most important question. That is explain the concept of virtual machine with its implementation and benefits. Also explain example of virtual machine. Here you have to explain definition of virtual machine, their implementation, their benefits and their examples with diagram for seven marks. So this is a compulsory question. Next one is write a shell program to check if a given string is palindrome or not. So in your exam, they will ask any program like palindrome string or not or to find out the greatest number or for searching and sorting in this way for six marks. And the next important question is explain following shell commands. They will ask any four commands from this while uh, for explaining purpose. Okay, like in WC, umask, cut, grape, echo, touch, ls, then a ch mode and cat. So you have to explain any four for seven marks. So I'm suggesting you, you should prepare all the shell commands with examples. Clear? Next. Now the next uh, unit is process management. On this particular topic, the most important question is first one, like draw process state transaction diagram and explain each state in detail for six marks. This is one of the most important question. The next one is how PCB help in process state management and explain the structure of PCB. So here you have to explain complete structure of PCB like process control block with particular diagram for seven marks. The next question is either they will ask explain all the schedulers in operating system or they will ask a specific one like role of long term, short term, medium term scheduler in operating system with diagram. So I am suggesting you, you should prepare all the types of schedulers with diagram with example for seven marks. This is also most important question. Now next one is define thread and list and explain different thread scheduling approaches for six marks. Next one state and explain multi-processing scheduling approaches for seven marks. Next differentiate between thread and process. Here you have to mention minimum six to seven differences with example for six marks. Next one here the particular functions will be given like p thread create and p thread join. Here you have to explain those functions for six marks. And in this process management unit, the most important is this numericals. These numericals compulsorily asked in your exam. Okay, so same numericals also will be asked in your exam. So you have to prepare these numericals as per my suggestion. Here you have to calculate average waiting time and average turnaround time and draw the chart by using scheduling algorithms RR and SJF. So you have to use these two scheduling algorithms by calculating average waiting time and average turnaround time as per this particular table. So this question will be asked for eight to 10 marks and this is a compulsory question. Okay, next. The next, the same question is there. Calculate average waiting time and calculate average turnaround time and draw the chart by using these two algorithms like RR and FCFS. The particular table will be given. So I am suggesting you, you compulsorily prepare this question. Okay, this is a most probable question and mostly asked question in previous year question paper. So you should prepare this question compulsorily for your exam, like cal how to calculate average waiting time and average turnaround time by the different scheduling algorithms. Clear? 
नेक्स्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज कॉन्करेंसी कंट्रोल ऑन दिस टॉपिक द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज दिस सी दे विल आस्क एनी वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस थ्री क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राइट एंड एक्सप्लेन डेड लॉक फ्री सोल्यूशन फॉर डाइनिंग फिलोसॉफर प्रॉब्लम और राइट अ सीमा फॉर सोल्यूशन फॉर डाइनिंग फिलोसॉफर प्रॉब्लम और वॉट इज क्रिटिकल सेक्शन एंड गिव सीमा फॉर सोल्यूशन फॉर प्रोड्यूसर कंज्यूमर प्रॉब्लम सो दे विल आस्क एनी वन क्वेश्चन कंपलसरीली इन यूर एग्जाम फॉर सेवन टू एट मार्क्स सो आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू यू शुड प्रिपेयर ऑल दिस प्रॉब्लम लाइक डाइनिंग फिलोसॉफर प्रॉब्लम प्रोड्यूसर कंज्यूमर प्रॉब्लम एंड रीडर राइटर प्रॉब्लम ओके द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज राइट अ सीमा फॉर सोल्यूशन फॉर रीडर राइटर प्रॉब्लम सो एनी वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस थ्री क्वेश्चन दे विल कंपल्सरी आज इन यूर एग्जाम the next one is write a short note on following the particular terms will be given like resource allocation graph monitor mutual exclusion or rest condition so either they will ask question number 5 or question number 6 like list and explain requirements of mutual exclusion for 7 marks so i am suggesting you you should prepare this mutual exclusion topic completely the next one is how resource allocation graph helps to deadlock and write the necessary conditions of deadlock to be occurred this is also one of the most important question for 8 marks the next enlist and explain ipc mechanism that is inter process communication mechanism for 7 marks and explain the following functions in semaphore like semaphore post and semaphore wait so you have to prepare those functions with example so i am suggesting you from this particular concurrency control unit you have to prepare dining philosopher problem producer consumer problem reader writer problem mutual exclusion and all the parts of deadlock like deadlock uh, avoidance technique then uh, necessary condition then prevention technique etc for 8 marks clear next the next is memory management from this particular topic the first question is write a short note on buddy system for 6 marks the next one is this numerical question this question is mostly asked question in previous year question paper so there will be a chances that question asked in your examination also just string is different in this particular question the particular string is given you have to count number of page faults by using three frames and by using this replacement method like fifo optimal and lru page replacement method for 10 marks so this is a compulsorily question that will be asked in your exam just string is different sometimes strings will be given different but remaining question will be same so you have to compulsorily prepare this question clear next elaborate the concept of demand paging with appropriate diagram for 8 marks then describe the address translation mechanism in segmentation with suitable diagram for 7 marks so i am suggesting you don't skip this diagram question because diagrams will be give you extra marks in your exam okay so prepare this question now explain following terms in brief like internal fragmentation external fragmentation and compaction for 8 marks then explain fixed and dynamic partitioning with example for 7 marks so from this particular memory management i am suggesting you prepare this example compulsorily because that is 8 to 10 marks question or same example will be asked in your exam okay just string is different now paging technique also most important thing clear next the next topic is input output and file management so on this particular unit the most important this numerical or there will be a chance the same numerical will be asked in your exam okay so from this numerical you have to calculate total distance that dist arm move to satisfy all the pending request for each of the following dist scheduling algorithm in your syllabus there are total four dist scheduling algorithms like fcfs sstf scan and loc so i am suggesting you don't skip this question question number 1 this is a, a same question will be asked in your exam okay so prepare this question compulsorily for 10 to 12 marks the next one is endless characteristics of blocks and character devices explain each with example for 6 marks the next one is discuss at least two techniques for performing io 8 marks explain input output buffering mechanism for 7 marks so this is also most important question that is input output buffering mechanism the next one is list and explain any two file allocation mechanism for 8 marks then uh, write a short note on directory structure or file sharing for 8 marks and explain free space management technique for 8 marks so from this unit i am suggesting you prepare this numerical compulsorily then prepare all the input output techniques and mechanism clear next 
the next one is system software and its importance so in your syllabus uh, it syllabus this is a six unit that is system software and its importance or uh, some other university syllabus they have a separate unit separate unit of assembler separate unit for compiler and separate unit for loaders but the questions will be same okay the first question and most important question they will ask any one question from this two question like the first question is define following system software components like compiler loader editor linker and debugger with example so you have to explain it for seven marks or they will ask what is system software explain any four system software in brief for six marks so they will ask any one question compulsorily from this the next one is explain pass one and pass two structure of assembler for seven marks this is a most important question okay you have to prepare this question don't skip this question next one is what are the assembler directives explain the processing uh, statements in detail for seven marks the next one is topic is loader so on this loader they will ask any one question from this four question like question number five to question number eight the first question is what are the types of loader discuss four different functions of loader for seven marks or they will ask a specific type of loader like explain absolute loader explain general loader or explain compile and go loader with diagram so i am suggesting you don't skip the topic loaders you have to prepare definition of loader types of loader you have to prepare these types uh, three types with their example advantages disadvantages and with suitable diagram for eight marks okay so they will ask any one question from this four question now the next and most important question is this draw a general model of compiler explain all phases in brief for eight marks so this is also a most important question now explain microprocessor and micro expansion with relevant example for seven marks and explain the terms subroutine linkages relocation and linking linkages for seven marks so i am suggesting you you should prepare all the system software components pass one pass two structure of assemblers loaders and general model of compilers these are the compulsory question next so hope so these questions will be helpful for your examination all the best thank you